All right, the first fix is to look at your hand position and do not curl the wrists like this. That impedes blood flow and causes them to go to sleep. It oftentimes happens when you put it underneath the pillow. Sometimes you put it underneath your chin and curl that wrist without even aware of it. We've had, we knew one person that once she was made aware of her problem, she just quit doing it, problem solved. Just use the pillow. Oh, the pillow. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Put it flat. Ah, so using the pillow right. keeps it flat, avoiding the curling. And that's a comfortable thing. You can actually put that under your elbow a little bit, good for the shoulder, as yeah. well as the wrist. Very nice and comfortable. Uh, the second fix is actually use a wrist brace. Bob has one on there. They, they make some really nice ones that are comfortable. They're not too tight. And you can sleep all night long, eliminating that need to curl the wrist. Problem. Or sleeping on it. Or sleeping on it, yep, right. exactly. Problem fixed. Let's go to number three. Okay, do not sleep with your elbow flexed or bent all night long. Bob is showing it right here. Just think of a hose when you kink a hose to turn a garden hose to turn the water off. Same thing happening here. You actually kink the artery and the vein and it re impedes blood flow. Uh, one thing you can do is Again, use the pillow, straighten that arm out, and just allow that blood and circulation to be free. How do you feel, Bob? Good. Much better. Number four. One thing before we go to the next one is there's probably only one of these things that's really affecting your hands from falling or causing your hands to fall asleep. But try all of them. You may figure it out very quickly. So one of them is probably the answer maybe two. The next one is... The shoulder, if you're sleeping on your shoulder wrong, you may be cutting off the circulation in that armpit area. It's a very common place where that can happen. So what you can do is take a throw pillow, put it underneath the ribs just below the armpit. Create a canal. Get the canal for the shoulder, and that'll take the pressure off. You might need another pillow if your head starts yeah. to sag too much or fold that pillow up. Right. So... There you go, the old axillary region is what we like to call it. And the last fix, I think we have a pretty obvious, don't have too many pillows under your head. It flexes the neck, it can uh, impede the circulation, it can hurt your neck. There's a lots of things that can happen. And also don't have your arms overhead like this while you sleep. That can uh, do the old... Uh, uh, calls dump us. Yep, calls the circulation to the arms. There's a right. name for that, I can't remember it. All right, once again, I want to reemphasize, try each one, and you'll probably find at least one of them that's causing the problem. Which one works for you? Right, absolutely. Good luck with it, and uh, good sleeping habits, and keep, Feel those, your hands. keep those hands moving and pain-free, numb-free, healthy. Pain.